All right, we're going to get these in the foil and get them heat treated. This is some of our Safeguard talcum powder. Just to prevent any welding phenomenon that can happen at these high temperatures. Just a light coat. Get Rams knife oil wrapped. All right, these are uh, these are ready to get in the furnace. I just want to put them in the same way, points forward, so it can go into the quenching block uh, with the blade part being sandwiched between the aluminum plates more so than the handles. So we'll come back when it is time to put these in the aluminum clamp and get them quenched. All right, knives have been in there for the right amount of time. Went to 1475 for a half hour, and that's a normalization soak. And we ramped up to, uh, we're floating between 1925 and 1945. Uh, and we've been there for about a half an hour. Now that it's ready to quench, now I'm going to put the knives in this plate, hit them with compressed air, and then I have my oil pot here that I'm going to drop the knife down to after it's brought down just to complete the cooling um, while I get the second knife out. So this is going to go pretty fast. So there's Craig's knife. Now we're out of that critical stage where it can really warp. So we're going to take this one out. And this is hot to the touch now. I'm going to drop this down in the oil just to complete its cooling. Now I'm going to leave the other knife in there because our temperature in the furnace dropped just a little bit. And I want to cool these plates. Now this big bar of uh, cold rolled steel has been in the refrigerator here in my shop for a few hours. So I'm going to put that on there, and that's really going to draw the heat out of this aluminum and allow us to quench the second knife. All right, ready for the second knife now. Shut my pyrometer off and turn off the furnace. So here's Rand's knife. This whole affair being clamped to this anvil, the anvil is an excellent heat sink with all that mass. So I'm going to put this one down into the oil bath and finish cooling it and then we'll be back over at the bench here and we'll pop them out of these foil wraps and see what they ended up looking like. Okay, out of the oil bath and cooling up the touch now. We'll cut these packs open and let's see what we have. Alright, there's Rand's night. Alright. And it stayed nice and straight. Always a plus. Let's get Craig's knife out of the foil. There 
There we are. Some interesting colors in that steel. All right, now they go into a two hour draw and they'll cool to room temperature and then go back in for another two hour draw and then the heat treatment part of the build will be finished. But what we've just done is the most important step in, in knife making or tool making and that is heat treatment. Because however they look, until you heat treat them, they're just pieces of steel. Okay, I'm going to go get these into the other room, into the draw, and we'll be back when we're taking them out of there, and you can see them, and then we'll commence with the rest of the build. But that is, uh, that is heat treatment of CPM 154 steel.